Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are making some Daegu Meuntang Korean spicy fish soup with cod. You can use different types of fish, but I prefer to use cod. They're pretty firm and don't flake out into the soup as much. This dish is perfect for a cold day or when you're just craving some soup. And if you're out fishing, you can make this while you catch your fish. Now let's get to the recipe. We're gonna start with making the broth. I have about six to seven cups of water. Add in a handful of kelp. I've put my mirchi, the anchovies, in a little bag, tea bag, so that they are easier to take out later. And some Korean radish. This is really important. It helps make a refreshing soup. Now let's make the sauce. Three tablespoons of gochugaru, red pepper flakes. Tablespoon of seojeokgal. Tablespoon of ekjeot. Three tablespoons of minced garlic. A tablespoon of gochujang. Two tablespoons of tenjang. And about two to three tablespoons of soju. Mix it up a bit and we're going to add about a tablespoon of the soup soy sauce. Leave that to the side for later. Now let me show you the fish I'll be using. I use tegu, which is cod. Usually you use a whole fish and especially the head gives it a lot of flavor, but it's hard to find sometimes and I don't like washing my own fish. So I'm just using some cod that I found that's already prepped. But if you can find the whole fish and prep it, then feel free to use that. Just make sure you clean it really well and descale them. My fish here doesn't have the skin on, but usually you leave the skin on as well. I'll also be using some white clams. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. Now your broth should be up to a boil. We're going to remove just the mirchi, the anchovies, and also the kelp, but we're going to leave the Korean radish. Now you can add in the sauce we made earlier into the broth. And let that come to a boil again. You don't want to add the fish too soon until it comes to a boil because you will end up with a lot of flaky fish chunks and we want to leave it as whole as possible. Remove any of the foam on top. If you like it spicier, you can add more kochukaru, the Korean red pepper flakes. Now let's start adding our vegetables. I have some kongnamul, some green onions, my clams, tubu, hoba, Korean squash, minari, Korean watercress, sukkad, some pasta, the inoki mushrooms, and to add some extra spice, some red jalapenos, and serrano peppers. If you prefer your food a little saltier, you can add more salted shrimp later. Let everything come to a boil and enjoy. The Arkunan soup, very spicy and refreshing. It could also be very good for hangovers the next day. There's also an actual soup that's named after hangovers called Hejangkuk, but that's another recipe for another day. Enjoy with a nice big hot bowl of rice and some Korean sides. Hope you enjoyed that recipe and see you next time.